Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. A person caught on camera in Modesto shooting into a home's windows now being shared online. The homeowner telling ABC 10, police are now looking into this. This area shut down around Sacramento Stockton Boulevard and LC Avenue. The county sheriff's office says shots were fired and a person in this car were taken to the hospital. This is actually incredibly brazen crime because at 6, uh, 6.05, you have a lot of commute traffic, so th this is a well-traveled area. An investigation's underway after a car crashed into a light rail train. This happened at 12th and C Streets in downtown Sacramento this evening and caused delays. New developments in our worsening drought. The city of Folsom now telling residents to cut back on water use by 20% by initiating new restrictions on days when you can water your lawn. Meanwhile, the first ever water cuts have just been declared for the Colorado River. The federal government says releases from the river's major dams will be reduced in 2022. More California students went back to their classrooms today. Students at LA Unified had a wait outside for hours until they could pass the district's COVID-19 screening app that was experiencing issues. 400,000 people were trying to use it at the same time, so we have to figure that out. Following reports that Stanislaus State is delaying in-person instruction due to rising COVID cases, tonight Sacramento State says they're still on track to open as planned. At the state capitol, the state assembly leader says everyone who works in the California assembly must now receive the COVID-19 vaccine or risk losing their job. It comes as breakthrough cases are being reported in the building. The latest to test positive, a staff member for Governor Newsom's office. A spokesperson tells ABC 10 the person has not interacted with the governor or his immediate staff members. We are now less than 30 days away from the recall election against Governor Newsom. Ballots now being mailed out. We'll have much more on the race coming up at 11:16. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.